I send greetings this evening from Paris. I would very much like to be with you this evening in on the North Shore, having a nice dinner. But I'm in Paris working, and it's very hard for me to pick up and leave at this um, time of the year because we're working very hard against deadlines and commitments that oblige me to um, stay close to the close to the studio, to which I welcome anyone who comes to Paris to come and visit us in the uh, sixth arrondissement near the Metro Odeon when the weather gets good and when uh, things quiet down a bit in Paris. Bienvenue. I loved the idea that New Trier contacted me after so many years and to invite me for dinner. Thank you. I have very good memories from my art teachers. I think probably no one is going to cite them because they were very, very important and um, learned professors at, uh, New, at New Trier. But up in the top floor when I went there, 1952, There was a man called Frank Holland, a woman called Catherine Murphy, and a few others who conducted art classes. It was a rather isolated section of the school, but it was a refuge, it was an oasis. And for those of us who were not going to target the most important highest scholastic um, objectives, but to develop our skills otherwise. It was amazing that Nutrier had this small inner sanctum of creative people working away peacefully. What a pleasure. There was also a very strong theater group, of course, very strong music group. But our little art group never pretended to prevail, just to create very personal, pleasing and satisfying messages that were intimate. From Nutrier, my two brothers, also students, left and went to Princeton. Imagine when at a certain point they heard I was going to Yale University School of Art. It was a little embarrassing to have their sister going to Yale. At that time there were no female students in the Yale undergraduate program. However, a few women were accepted in the theater music, law, and other divisions of the professional schools and graduate levels too. I went to Yale. I enjoyed it immensely and my Princeton brothers came to see me at Yale, a little embarrassed, and I went to see them in Princeton too, not embarrassed at all. Very nice memories. From there, at Yale, when I graduated, I was given a Fulbright scholarship and my destiny was predictable because I had been taking Spanish at Nutrier. I went to Chile. I worked and was affiliated with the Universidad Católica in the Escuela de Arquitectura and teaching a basic design and color course. I traveled throughout the Andes, photographed, and visited archaeological sites. I took this material back to Yale, where it was published. I brought it to my old teachers at Nutrier and showed it to them. It was rather exotic. When I finished that 
and my master's degree at Yale also, Master of Fine Arts. I moved to Mexico where I lived for five years on a ranch in the state of Guerrero, a rather dangerous place. But there I wove and set up weaving workshops and worked with the indigenous population. It was pure pleasure. From there, I moved to France in 1964, where I have lived and worked ever since. It's hard to believe it's been 50 years. But my studio here, which functions daily and is open to you, has produced monumental architecture projects, projects for architects and buildings like the Ford Foundation in New York, CBS, Kodak, Kellogg's, I could go on and on. We've been very privileged and enjoyed very much our work. Thank you for recognizing it as something that is a small contribution to culture. My mission has been culture and communication through culture.